and gents, welcome back to episode 2, officially, of Footy and Fridays, a podcast made possible by the kind people of the Footy and Community Fund. So a big shout out to the guys once again. A little bit different this time round, just a, a more of a quick update type of podcast and video for you today. We are going to touch on the day out that we had at Leighton Orient. And again, big thank you goes to the team behind the game and everything that's been set up. Sam had a big part to play in the range and all that. So thank you to them for putting it on and to everyone that came along and said hello to me. Really enjoyed the day, got to meet loads of you. It showed that we're not all just weirdos behind the screen, which was great. And even though the game wasn't the best, I think we had more than enough fun and more than enough drinks to make up for it. But it's not just all about late and Orient because Beta is back, ladies and gentlemen. The announcement has been made. We are coming back next week at this point. So if you are watching or listening to this, the chances are in the Discord there are already channels getting set up to talk about trades, to talk about just generally feedback on the Beta. Um, not that we can log in yet, but we're going to get a chance to log in for a few days to explore the new match engine and the new UI, which I'm very, very, very excited about. So this is the biggest step the Footium has made up to this point. We will get to see a totally different site in front of us. Up till now, it has been a test build, pretty basic looking test build, in fairness. This is where things are going to ramp up a notch. We are two months away from full launch. Excitement is growing. If this beta goes well, the sky is a limit. So I can't wait to get going and I can't wait to chase for another title and get accused of cheating. Just put it out there. <laughs> but if you have any queries or any questions on beta coming or if you've not been involved this time, chances are you're not in the Discord. So make sure to follow the link down below in this if you're watching on video. If it's on audio, search up Footium at Footium on Twitter. Nice and easy. Click the link into the Discord Come join us and make sure you tag Sam to get in there because you'll be able to get in the final beta. There is going to be one more after this before full launch and then it's all systems go. Now I don't want to spoil everything that's been announced about beta. So I will let you go and have a look yourself. Everything that Footy and put out there through Twitter, through the medium. It's worth reading up on everything and then we're going to explore it ourselves when we get access. But until then... Let's have a look at the meetup that we just had the other week in London. So, me being me, I arrived very early doors. Started drinking far too early in a weather spoons. Managed to hold myself throughout most of the day. Um, God love him, Spud was the man that was <laughs> struggling along. But the man can take it. And all in all, it was just a great day to meet everyone. Here, I'm going to show you a few clips of the game. And you'll hear in the background a couple of the guys, Questo and Neil John Zero, who you'll likely know if you've been around the community, talking about their clubs and um, just a few other things about what their aims are for the game. And then a big thank you to Tom FM who added a little clip on the end of just about a drunken debauchery in the stadium after the game. And um, the guys having a good, good bit of fun in games, you'll see me in there as well. So just a little bit of a taster for what happened down the road at Leighton Orient at Brisbane Road. Really enjoyed it, can't wait for the next one and thank you very much for tuning in and listening this time around. I'll be back with a more classic podcast experience next time, probably with Neil John Zero on as well. If you do want to be on or you have any suggestions of anyone they should be on, please do let me know by commenting or getting in touch with me on Twitter at Penn City FC through my club. But otherwise, enjoy, and I will see you soon. So, first up, tell me your name and tell me your club. Yeah, so, uh, name's John, uh, well known in the community as Newsby John. Yeah. Uh, in terms of clubs, uh, I've got a few, but the, the main one is Newsby Birch. Uh, bought in with them around January in 2022, so I missed them in. And, uh, yeah, as soon as I saw that it was uh, an option to own and run a football club, I was absolutely gagging to get involved and did about 
two, three weeks of shopping and, and just absolutely fell in love with the with the name and and just, just managed to scratch on. So yeah, so I got a division eight and um, since then managed to also nab Newsby, yeah. who are in the same town, uh, division six, a bit more of an investment. And uh, yeah, all set and ready for the launch really. And I mean you've created your own almost NFT factory through Newsby, haven't you? Like people will know you as the Mr. Pixel at this point. Yeah, yeah. At this meetup, I've had like five or six people go like, oh my God, you're a news bitch on. Yeah. Uh, my favorite quote from the day is someone saying, uh, I follow you on LinkedIn. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I went I went all in as the game uh, sort of was new to me. I, I decided to build Newsby Birch as a town. Uh, it had a chippy, it had a pub. Yeah. I went well over the top. It was really good fun, but I went well over the top. Uh, since then, I've pulled back. It's got Now it's got a newspaper and a TV, TV uh, uh, effectively a company called Sky Newsby. Mm. Absolute uh, <laughs> plagiarism, but uh, yeah, going with that. But yeah, yeah, just, I really love that side of it. I really love the, uh, and actually I found this with things like Football Manager. I really like the like create a club type stuff yeah. where, yeah, I could just play as a Premier League team or a Vanarama team, but it's just good fun to actually create something. And, yeah, that's what I really like about footing is kind of, it's a fresh base to build something. Mm. And then of course in the day to day, like for people that are listening in, but I'll let you know it wasn't the most exciting game in the world, it ended 0 0, but as a day it's been fantastic, hasn't it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Like uh, was lucky enough to meet a few of the key members of the community before the game in uh, Liverpool Street and then we came across and yeah, it's just been a lovely day really. Just lots of uh, like minded people that have been talking to for the last six or seven months now uh, online on Discord, on Twitter, on spaces and things, and just yeah, it's just really, really good to see how strong the community is and just how into it everyone is, and just putting faces to names and like effectively seeing how real it all is. Just yeah, really enjoyed it. But yeah, you're right. It was a uh, an interesting uh, nil nil. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we weren't spoiled on the football, but that is football as well. So, yeah. yeah, it's very attritional today. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and I'll finish off then by saying, for the first season of Full Footy on Full Launch, what are your aims? Ah, first season. So I'm going quite big actually. So Newsby Birch are my Div 8 team. They are an absolute must to get promoted. Yeah. Definitely get promoted. I'm definitely going up to seven in the first first season. I've done it twice in the beta. Season, the first uh, run of the beta, I got Newsby Birch up from three to two. And in the, oh, actually, second one I didn't. Second one I got to the playoffs, so me and Sea Park uh, got beat in the playoffs. But um, yeah, really, really, I'm going after that Div 7 uh, status. And then I really need to work out what I'm going to do with Newsby, which is my Div 6, who clearly are going to be a better team and a bigger team. But whether I feed some of them down to Newsby Birch, which are my, like, the team that I'm actually in love with, uh, or whether I um, maybe just try and do the similar with both. But I think Div 6, I just want to kind of stabilise and make sure I don't slip down. Yeah. But yeah, that's the plan. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Lovely. That's good fun, mate. So, to start off, tell me your name and tell me your club. So, I'm Kenny, uh, in a Discord, Questo. Uh, club, Whitney Town. Do have a couple of other clubs, but I'm probably best known for being the Jammy person who won the Division 3 team <laughs> Whitney Town. So, yeah, that's my team. Take, take the credit, take the credit. There's no, but, um, there's, there's, there's no credit in the lottery, but I, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I take the credit if my lottery wins, so we'll go with it. But so the get... only man who has turned up to this day late in Orient Wayne is Pubs Badge, proudly. Big, big, I'm very impressed, I must admit. So, you're obviously kind of wedded to your club already, the game's not launched yet. How do you think that's going to grow when you're actually playing as them? I wouldn't even just say from my point of view, but I think just in general, you can see from Twitter, yeah. the amount of effort that people are putting into the social media type stuff. I believe so, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the amount of effort people are putting into the social media, but the badge of Whitney Town just is one of the nicer looking badges. Mm -hmm. I'd say probably quite brandable, if that makes any sense. And I actually think it looks good. It doesn't look like a random thing that you just purchased. It yeah. generally looks like a nice little top to wear. So yeah, I just decided to make a hoodie and follow Whitney Town by job. Mm -hmm. And then generally about Fruitium, like we're getting close to full launch now, so I asked this to John earlier on. What are your hopes for the first season? I think you've got any aims out there, any proper ambitions for it? Well, 
being in Division 3, which is obviously a pure luck division that I never expected to be in, I, uh, I want to try and throw a little bit of a budget at it. So I do want to try and be competitive. I don't want to just exist mm -hmm. and hope to survive. I do, I do want to actually try and have a go at it. So, yeah, me, the hope for the first season is see what the legendary auctions look like. Whether I'll be buying legendary players or not, I don't know. It purely depends on how much they go for, but I'll certainly be having a little look at them to see if they're within my budget. And I have won a rare player as well, and hopefully we'll potentially win another one before launch. So yeah, basically trying to make the Division 3 team as strong as possible. If, if well, possible. Well, good luck. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Cheers, man. Hello, fellas. Um, Hello. Thoughts on the game today? Wow, it was shit. Wow. <laughs> Disappointing. I thought Orient and his second would produce about three months yeah. ago. Especially with a man sent off from Northampton. And we thought that, you know, the boys, the big O's, could go all the way and win, but. <laughs> what? You'll find to have a turn off. No. Early, like. Yeah, they did, 46 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. First minute of the second half. Oh, I fucking missed where, the first where were you? Where were you at that point? I was point? in the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 100%, I promise you, hand on heart. The whole second half, they played with Kevin. That's a fucking disgrace. <laughs> I thought Leighton was shit 11 and 11. And so, we feel like Leighton Orient probably should have won the game, um, if we're being honest. I thought they should have won it 11 and 11. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven was decent, though. He had a good game. Yeah, yeah, Smith. Smith was good. Yeah, Smith, he was, he was good. Um, Number number eleven doesn't have a right foot to save his life. He was uh, unfortunately he's left left footed only. I, I don't feel like Leighton Orient won enough second balls. Yeah, Hampton seemed right. to pick up all of them. Right. 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 We're talking to the camera here. Look, <laughs> what's this about? <laughs> he's, not, he's not even turning around now. Presto, presto. <laughs> <laughs> it's Moza's camera. I don't... Why is this camera I have no idea. Oh, you've been abandoned now. Oh, look, there, there's, uh, there's old Spud having a good time. So, then, so obviously you've got uh, Mozza over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> look at him. Smile. <laughs> no, it's the video this is. No, come on. It's a music video. You should, you should also answer, do you don't need to press that button. Oh no, I'm doing the zoom in. Oh, you're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Look. <laughs> What's up, fella? Hello, mate. Thoughts on the game? Thoughts on the game? Well, it's not the most exciting game in the world, but everything else about today has been fucking wonderful. Good. Yeah. That's all right, then. We were talking about earlier how bad it could have gone if a bunch of melters turned up. Yeah, but true. It turned out that everyone's pretty damn sound. Yeah, everyone's okay, I think, aren't they? Good. Yeah, pretty good. That's not too bad. How's the uh, the podcast recording gone, Mozza? Yeah, it's gone well. Um, I've just told Brains that Northampton had a man sent off and it's at the same time. Yeah, he doesn't believe he us. Know. He doesn't believe us. You, you didn't know either. He stole... He, just to be clear, I'm, I'm holding the camera, but he, he stole it. Anyway, thank you for the content. One thing that happened. Yeah, it's OK. Uh, so, thoughts on the 11 v 10? Even worse. <laughs> I thought it was shit. I think that's a disappointment. I thought it was a little bit day out, but there we go. You know, we go again. We go again. Maybe. Maybe, maybe next year we don't come at all. Yeah, wow. 
Wow. We go Northampton instead, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Great result from Northampton. Hopefully, they short someone in the raffle and get some Northampton shots. Oh, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, try that next time.